Hello everybody and welcome to the 7th episode of OpenGL Engine slash Game Development Log. In this video I will show you the changes that I made to the engine this past week. There won't be really much to show this week because I've been mostly just working on finding some PBR materials and prototyping some game ideas, which I will not really reveal at this moment. The first biggest change this week was rework of the animation system which had to be done because I stumbled upon a weird bug in the old system that I really couldn't fix without a full rework. But now I was finally able to make all the animation transitions smoothly. So this means there will be no weird snapping motions when transitioning between two different animation actions. At this moment pretty much all of the animations still look pretty bad because they weren't really animated that well. And also because I'm using linear interpolation to interpolate between the animation action keyframes. The next thing you might have also noticed is that I've added a crouch animation and also a walk animation when crouching. But again I didn't really bother with any fancy animations because all of current animations are basically just placeholders at this moment. As an attempt of synchronizing feet with the ground when running or walking, I made the interpolation speed up or slow down depending on the player's movement speed without using an actual running animation or any progressive speeding up or slowing down when transitioning between running and walking animation. And as you can see from the video, the running animation doesn't start immediately playing after the player starts running, which I will address in the next animation update. Another thing you might have also noticed from the video is that jumping from a crouch pose will automatically make the player stand up. Also in the past I've stated that I made animation cancelable but the transitions between cancelable and non-cancelable animations were not smooth so that was fixed in this week's rework. With the ability to transition between any animated actions we can create interesting movement sequences such as for example doing a kick after a front flip or an immediate duck after a jump. The next thing I've been working on again is improving some of the post-processing effects. For instance this light scattering effect and also camera lens flare which you can barely see. If we go back to animations, you can see I've been experimenting with different interpolation functions. When transitioning into crouch pose the linear interpolation looks pretty horrible because the animation stops abruptly and that's not how a realistic muscle would stop. So because of that I've been experimenting with a basic spring interpolation which makes the character look a bit more alive. But this is by no means how the final animation would look like. Another minor improvement that I've made to the engine is that all objects being picked will now be forced to a specified distance from the player which makes it seem like the player is actually holding the objects. And for that purpose I might also make a holding animation. And so this brings us to the end of this video, if you like the video like it and if you would like to see more videos in the development log series please subscribe to my channel. Before I go I should also say that the frequency of the videos might decrease a bit because the college just started and I won't have so much time to work on the engine but with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!